So in this video, we're going to simplify um, combinations. So 9 choose 3. So there's a formula for this. So, so n choose r is equal to m factorial divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial. So uh, this, this formula tells you how many possible combinations there are. How many ways can you choose uh, three things from a group of nine without regard to order? So anyways, all we have to do here is simplify it. So nine choose three. Okay, so that's nine choose three. So your n is nine, so this is nine factorial over, and then this is nine minus three factorial, and this is three factorial, okay? And uh, then we just subtract, 9 minus 3 is 6, so this is 9 factorial over uh, 6 factorial, 3 factorial. All right, so now we have to clean this up. So what you can do uh, is you can take a couple shortcuts. So first, uh, you should know that 9 factorial is just 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, right? So it's 9 times 8 times 7 times dot, 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 3, 2, 1. So you can write 9 factorial as... 9 times 8 times 7, and the rest of it is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 3 times 1, that's actually 6 factorial. Right? That's 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So you can write this as, let me come up here, 9 times 8 times 7 times, and then 6 factorial. So that top part is 9 factorial. The bottom, we still have the 6 factorial. 3 factorial is 3, 2, 1. So 3 times 2 times 1. That's pretty good. Okay, so look at that. Boom, these go away. Okay, 9 times 8 times 7 divided by 6. Hmm, let's clean this up a little bit. Let's see. So 3 goes into 9 3 times. 2 goes into 8 4 times. So you get 12 times 7. Well, 12 times 7. 7 times 10 is 70. 7 times 2 is 14. This is 84. So 9 choose 3 is equal to 84. That's it.